Hello and welcome to Caravan Salon. In this video, I'm going to take you around the top of the range offer for the next year from Knaus. And uh, so we've only got, in this case, four vehicles actually to, to look at. Uh, there's plenty of vehicles in this hall and I'm trying to actually break it up into bite-sized chunks. So I'm going to start off with this one, Live I650 Meg. Uh, you can see it's an integrated uh, vehicle, and this thing here is going to cost 114,000 euros. And to get the technical details up here for you, it's 697 long, 232 wide, inner width 218, outer height 290, inner height uh, 2 meters and uh, so it's going to offer over 400 kilos of payload in ready to go state. Uh, ready to go state includes uh, fluids, all fluids and a bit of uh, uh, weight for the driver but uh, you know if you're taking uh, three other people you should be able to well I think you'd manage. Anyway what I notice when I come in here is that it is very very wide and uh, so uh, it's only 232 on the outside uh, I'd say only that's <laughs> uh, um, that's wider than my van but uh, it's um, it does appear to be even wider when one is inside and it's seven meter class so that uh, I think that's a positive sign, but let's have a look at some of the negatives up here. We've got all of this wasted space. And as I always say, the problem here is because these people who design these things don't realize that motorhomes actually move. And when you're sort of uh, on the motorway and you're on the flat, maybe it does not too bad until you actually get to Italy and it's full of potholes and it goes up and down and then the problem is uh, things just fall out so that is something th th this is complete waste of space there should be a covers on everything what's a cover cost next to nothing okay right uh, let's come here have a look at this wardrobe uh so in fact it's not really a wardrobe it's a, it's a it's a storage but you know no, no problem with this being here you stick your head at the other end and you, you've got your uh feet down here so I uh, don't have a problem with that myself there you go and there's the there's the wardrobe it's got some cushions in at the moment um, here we've got a step up I like a flat floor a flat floor has a lot of advantages now I appreciate that some people might want easy access to their bed a low bed and uh, but I also think that people who want a low bed probably don't want to step uh, probably also want a flat floor and uh, so that's my criticism there. Two drainage holes, good. Small ones, that's bad. Uh, washroom though is quite large. Uh, look, so I'm sitting here. I'll do, I'm not sitting here, I'm standing here. Uh, I've got this closed. I've got all this space around me. And I'll have even more space around me if I make this here. Like, bringing that across on these lights you'll, you'll think you're uh, about to go on stage there you go so yeah, that's your shower cabin as such but note that the shower head is there means you can actually use it uh, with the door closed or open and in both positions and it's got an easy to operate uh, lever there um, so this is relatively standard, three burners, sink, Bedford fridge, nothing out of the ordinary there. Um, and uh, up front, a uh, largish seating group, doesn't look particularly comfortable to me, completely pointless chair here, don't know why that's there, it's got a door over there. Um, so, uh, so you can fill it with fuel or whatever and a uh, bed up here which comes down 
uh, step there and step there. Now, at this price level, one does not expect uh, steps in the vehicle like that. I mean, that is something for, you know, I won't say half this price because uh, that's difficult to find, but considerably cheaper anyway. Uh, television here, rated F, 26 kilowatt hours per 1,000 hours of use. Um, if anybody's got any information, uh, are there any televisions for use in motorhomes, which are at the top end up here, A? Uh, if you know of one, let me know. Um, the problem here is that the battery here, you, know, you, not, uh, you can actually carry. Right, coming back here, now the bed's low, so the, this, this is gonna be low as well, so you, you're not getting much space in the garage. And uh, if I come round here, I can show you the, at the other side and uh, the service box. You've got your water there. This is, they do this in many vehicles. Easy access, you can dump your water via here. Um, you can dump the fresh water should you, you know, be winter or something. You've got your Truma Frost Guard. You've got your electric supply. Cut threads through there so nobody can pinch it. And uh, the service box, I think, is indeed uh, practical. Uh, my opinion, that van uh, is not a good idea for the, for the reasons that I've stated. Now, let's have a look at this one here. This is the Live Eye. Now, this vehicle is going to cost uh, €109,000. Technical details are for it. And so, 7.5 metres long, 232 wide, like the other one. And the other, 279 out of height, 2 metres inside. And it offers um, 360 kilos of payload. I'll come inside. Uh, lady is cleaning up. And yeah, this is the time when the place gets cleaned up, but I'm in here by myself, so I don't have a problem. But I can, however, close the door. There you go, oh, I can't close the door because there's a thing down here. Right, anyway, always nice to have a bit of background music. Uh, coming up here to the back, wasted space again. And here, now this has got the German layout. This comes out further. There'll be a cushion somewhere to fit in there. There's, there is, it's over here. And that goes in there like that, makes a pretty big bed. There's a pretty big bed for you. And if I now come over here, I can show you this. This thing here lifts up like that. And that'll give you access to the wardrobe. It would be nice if there were a light in the wardrobe at this price level. Uh, um, this is currently getting in my way. Obviously, you'd probably take the plastic off. Uh, but uh, instead of putting sheets over like, like that, I do appreciate this is the trade fair. Uh, they've done this to uh, uh, you know give some kind of protection. So I mean that's understandable. But um, I would wrap, if that's the right word, um, individual individual mattresses. Uh, individually so therefore when you want to open this thing here for example that it lifts up easily so same at this side here there you go this will lift up and there you can keep all the, your spare carpet in there obviously it does open down here as well in fact all of them open like that no matter what <laughs> frame you've got to get them from and there you go a bit more storage there for uh, wardrobe and 177 litre fridge and here we have the washroom actually it looks a little uh, looks much, it's probably an optical illusion isn't it? let's see if I can get in okay turn the there's me inside no okay no no it's all right sorry sorry there you go. Now you can close this if I can. Now, admittedly, if you're a bit larger than me, you might be a bit of a problem. There's me inside. Oh, you can't see me now, can you? There you go. There's me inside. Uh, hmm. not, not a lot of space in there. Now, 
three burners, a lot of space for cooking here. Um, we've got drawers. I haven't got any sides to them. Sorry, I've got an empty side to them or not a very good side to them. And we've got some storage down there. Oh, it's good. That goes all the way to the back. Good, good. And here. So television goes up here. Right. One year, last year, I cut myself on one of these things. Um, I think it was a Heimer, <laughs> no, a Heimer motorhome. Opened this up and uh, cut me anyway. Good. And so this, the, the TV uh, is an option, of course, uh, as it usually is in most vehicles. And a big bed up the front, uh, knock, the uh, knock the chairs down and pull the bed down. Chairs quite, uh, not quite, they're very comfortable. They're super, they're supremely comfortable chairs. Yeah, I'm gonna sit down on one now. Although I've got a backpack on, but uh, oh, this is, there's the view. Oh, no, this is really nice, really nice chairs. Sort of, sort of big and, uh, Chunky and yeah, you feel very good with this on. <laughs> or sitting on this, I should say. <laughs> uh, the carpet you, you get looks pretty horrible, but um, you know it's here to protect it. So they have to protect the floor. They want to sell this stuff afterwards, and they're not going to sell it if it's full of uh, dents and things. That's your toilet cassette, and there's uh, an enormous garage. That's really good. Yeah, I like the garage and uh, gas cupboard. Okay, I mean, I much prefer this one to the other one. Um, come over here to the van eye, and I'll save the top of the range one until last. Uh, the van eye is uh, 115,000 euros. Technical details. Seven meter class, 696 centimeters long. Um, only 220 centimeters wide, 205 um, inner width, 287 high, 196 inner inner um, height, and it's got just under 400 kilos of payload. Uh, right, so this is much more to my liking uh, as far as the size is concerned. I don't like wide vehicles, but I, I'm, I don't feel very confident driving them when they're wide. Okay, right, so we've got some stuff up here which is either from here or used to make uh, parts for spare beds and things of that nature. Once more, space wasted. Uh, I can't see the point of putting ledges in there unless it's to uh, bang your head on. Of course, you can actually charge your phone up the back or you could do if they put, thought of putting a USB in there, but there isn't a sure power um, plug uh, there. Uh, here, storage uh, wasted and uh, storage possibility wasted. Once more, we've got access to the uh, wardrobes down here. Uh, washroom here, and this one is bigger than the one we just saw, in my opinion. There's another wardrobe. Um, I think this is a much better van, yeah. <clears throat> I don't like the colour scheme, it's really dark in here. I'll have a put all the lights on, it's just just checking that. No, that's it. Oh, just turn the, just turned some of the lights off. Right, uh, okay. Um, it's very dark, but I like the layout better. And the important thing for me is the garage and another nice garage. It seems a bit narrow than the other one. You've got the electrical stuff there. Personally, I prefer it to be inside in the double floor, for example, the electrical stuff. But I mean, that, that's relatively easy to get a hold of. It's not, not a major problem. And so we're going to finish off with this one. The Sun i 900 leg. Uh, now, uh, when was it? About nine years ago, I think it was. I referred to one of these as looking like a nightclub in Moscow in 1993. And... Uh, there's the, there's the information, there isn't any. Okay, it's a nine meter vehicle, and for this, it, you're looking at a price towards 200,000. Uh, wonderful lounge. Uh,
Notes here that the size of the shower, plus there's more space to play with, isn't there? Uh, nine meter class. So, uh, but once more you see, wasted space. And, uh, storage under the bed, as we've seen. And here we've got drawers on this side. Here we've got a very large wardrobe uh, and this will form a really nice, super nice um, dressing area. Mind you, for this this type of money, you could, you could get a Morello. Uh, so uh, <laughs> I'm not sure about that, but uh, all the same, um, I, there's probably a reason why this is um, the step up here. Maybe because of the uh, the tank, the heated uh, tank. So the the waters the the, the tank is heated, uh, and it's also in the double floor. Well, my my vehicle also the tank's heated. Both of them. Waste, what's the point of heating the wastewater tank? It is, the point is to stop it freezing. <laughs> I like the sink, I don't know where that's molded. And here, very nice kitchen. Look at the space between the, uh, the gas hobs, how far apart they are. And uh, I like things like that as well. Your rubbish uh, when you, once you're cooking. Uh, TV, you can see there. The television will, goes under here. And there's the television. Oh, there's, one, there's one in here. There was one year I heard somebody actually stole the television uh, for, and, and because he's wearing winter clothes. Oh, he had a co big coat on, sorry. And he put the television under the coat. Uh, it was caught, of course, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to tell you the story. That's how I know. There are lots of little things that go missing if people take the, you know, the knobs off these things or the, the, these metal grills here. Uh, in this case, it doesn't come off, but I mean, some them come off quite easily. No, oh, I really like this. Wow, I, don't, I think that looks really cute. But I really, really nice. It's got a lovely lounge. Oh, yeah. Hard to find. I think of a better lounge than that in any vehicle. It's 232 centimeters um, width, and so when you know both the ch when both the chairs are uh, are around, uh, it gives you a huge amount of it, space. It's double floor. It's got storage in the double floor. I'm gonna sit down here and admire the view, the lighting. I think that looks quite nice. That 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 appeals to me. It does look a bit like a nightclub, but um, this is as far as I remember. I haven't been I haven't been in one for uh, many many years since the 1990s. But uh, that's what I think they look like. At least that's what they seem to look like in films. Anyway, now up here you can see there's a cabinet there for glasses called Sylvie, uh, and this they have the very attractive normal glasses, but they they attach via magnets. I've done. I, I went to their uh, production place and I did a video showing how they work. You might want to see that. But very attractive, and they've got a booth here at uh, Caravan Salon this year, so they must be doing well. Of course, I was there four years ago, uh, so I'm very pleased to see that. Um, uh, also got more storage here for glass. I think it really it does. It's elegant. I think okay. Opinions may be divided. Here we've got a Thetford oven and can I call that an oven or a grill? I don't know. Um, I mean it's bigger than most of them are. Uh, you can't. I don't think you can get a chicken in there though. Um, anyway, is that an oven or a grill? Let me know. Comments below. Uh, 177 litre fridge. One of these ones which opens both ways. There you go. 
uh, storage down here. Look at that. Nice. Clever use of space. Yeah. Quite nice. I've got the aircon up here. Bear in mind that the aircon will only work when the uh, it's a tack on hookup. At the back, we've got this enormous, enormous garage. Uh, this lump here is because of the way the bed, beds join. Gas cupboard. No, sorry, not the gas cupboard. This is, um, sorry, take that back. It's not the gas cupboard, sorry. It's uh, storage, which you've got access from under the bed. And on the other side as well, of course, this could do with... Um, I think could do some nets, although it's not a reason. No, it's all right now, I suppose. In the garage, I'm not so fussy about things, not having nets on as I am inside the vehicle. Same size on this side, so that it's really good uh, access, and you've got storage around here. Door uh, on this side. Uh, last year I was against the doors, but now I'm in favour of them. So this is this is what happens. I've been living in an integrated vehicle now for seven months, and I've changed my mind on some features. So thanks very much for being here. You've seen the top of the range models from Knaus, uh, as are at uh, Caravan Salon this year. Now we've got lots of other things here which I've tried filming. Some of, some of these really odd van, sa van station things here for example that's really odd. You can see here for example this roof which is here down goes up. Uh, it's the van in that condition what's the height of the roof is about two meters ten or something like that. So that is I well, maybe exaggerate a bit, maybe 20, but, uh, but y y it'll go into lots of low things. You get to your destination and the roof goes up like that. I've done this in a separate video. That, it, that sounds pretty good in theory. <laughs> the practice, there may be some, uh, some problems with it. But anyway, so I come to the caravan salon every year. I think it's, uh, you know, I think it's great to see all the, this stuff. Um, I know. Somebody put a comment in yesterday, so where are the innovations? Uh, well, you know, every year, this is, uh, these are motorhomes, it's difficult to think of something new every year. <laughs> but uh, I think there are, I think innovations every single year. Mind you, sometimes people go past, uh, go to what um, a situation in the past, um, and for example, this with storage. Uh, oh, don't can't be bought the proper storage in. That's that's something from the 80s. Anyway, so just standing here actually, so just notice the shape at the top. I think that looks, I think that looks quite interesting. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Uh, the video was a bit longer than I had uh, I'd hoped to do. I thought I, was, I could try and sit a little bit quicker. Uh, but if you stayed with me until the end, that's that's really wonderful. Um, so lots and lots of vehicles here to be seen at Caravan Salon and indeed on this channel which is the largest channel on the internet as far as I'm aware uh, uh, for um, motorhomes and camper vans. I don't do caravans so well sorry there are maybe 10 videos with mini, ca mini caravans in but that's it. So all the best from me in Germany. Thanks for being here.